Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for November 2nd. Uh, so first, the bad news. The bad news is I deleted your original reading for this week. Uh, so I have to redo it, and I'm redoing it right now. The good news is I'm using a brand new deck that's really cool called Leonardo, if you're interested in what the deck is called. If you just Google it, you can buy the deck from the site. I, you know, I don't know. I can't remember exactly what the site is, but if you Google Leonardo playing cards, like I said, people seem to ask me what I'm using every single week, um, but uh, you can get them some somewhere online. Um, but this week, so I mean, I mean, the message is a little bit different from what I originally had, but it's still kind of the same in a lot of ways, I guess. Uh, the Nine of Diamonds comes up first, which is a great card. It's a card of achievement and earning something, even getting recognized. I actually, you had, I think you had this card um, in in the uh, original video I did for this week, so that's good because uh, I remember saying something about achieving something. And this is a great card for achievement. It's you. It could be you getting noticed, like in a group, even. Uh, so if you're part of some group, you could get some recognition for so, you know job well done. Uh, it could be even bigger than that. I mean, it could be on a huge, large scale that you get recognized uh, for something. So that's you know this is a really great card. It, it's you earning something. Like I said, and it could just be recognition, but it could make you very popular and lead to something more. You know, it, but it could be things that are totally unexpected as well. This card comes in, it could be totally unexpected. Like you get picked up on a blog or something like that if you happen to have your own business or something along those lines. It's that kind of energy that's attached to this card. So that is a very good sign. Next, you have the Joker coming up. And uh, let's see if we can get that imagery on there. The Joker is a great card and for some reason it just doesn't want to focus. There we go. But the Joker is a great card. It represents working really hard. You're probably going to be working really hard this week. Juggling a lot. Juggling a lot of things. Kind of moving back and forth between a lot of projects. Needing to have mental quickness is coming up this week as well. So I think that really mental quickness is the message for you on this card this week and really needing to be okay with like you know jumping around to things really quickly. And, and being good at that. But the good news is is that the Joker is very good at doing that. So it's kind of like you'll have the energy to do that anyway. Next you have the four spades, which can represent some problems at home. And they're usually minor, uh, you know, um, people, you know, uh, not doing the dishes and driving you crazy. Um, people not cleaning up in your house and driving you crazy. Um, um, minor little battles with children, um, e even if you have grown children in your house, same same thing. Uh, you know, something, it's usually, like I said, not that big of a deal, but just know that it's there. And really, actually, what the card asks you to do is it asks you to just ignore it um, and, and just to kind of allow it to happen um, this week and uh, to just kind of bite the bullet, so to speak. And, and, and um, so, you know, if people are driving you crazy in your house or something like that, Try to move past it because a card does ask you to not create conflict in your house uh, just this week. I mean, you know, next week, let them have it for not doing the dishes or whatever. But um, this week, you know, try to avoid conflict at all costs with this card. And that's really what the card, the solution to the card. Like I say, all the negative cards have solutions, and that is the solution with this card is to just ignore it and move past it this week, like I said. And then finally, you have the Ten of Hearts, really great card, uh, all about your problems going away, problems melting away. Ten of Hearts is a card that removes problems. That's what it is. And it's moving on to better times. You have that nine in the beginning. Nines are all about new, newness, new things coming into your life. So it makes a lot of sense to have the Ten as well, the Ten of Hearts, because it kind of brings in a lot of new energy and new situations. Uh, and a lot of moving forward as well. Plus, there's a lot of love for you this week with this card. You, tens always bring in a lot of people to you. Uh, so, you know, if you want love, it's on the table. But again, with nines and tens, you have to work. Eight, nine, ten, they all, those three cards require you to work for it. So if you want love, you're going to have to like try to go out and get it, um, you know, and try to meet people and things like that. If not, um, you know, then obviously you won't find anybody. <laughs> but uh, with uh, this card, it requires work, but it does remove a lot of problems. It brings in like, I mean, if you need things as well, if you're struggling with money or something like that, it can, this card can bring in money to help you out and uh, really help you move forward. So all in all, you have an incredible week. Enjoy it.